Hi everybody, today is Tuesday, September 22nd, and we're going to look over your assignment for today. Please remember that today is the soft opening for the students who are coming back to school in person. So uh, I, if you send me an email or a message, I may not be able to answer your question until school ends. But uh, we'll just have to see. I'm not really sure what to expect today. Okay, so just try to be patient if you're sending me a question. All right, so you have a document here. It's called the PDSA Assignment. And as you can see, it's three pages long, but you don't have a whole lot to answer, okay? But you do need to give really thoughtful responses. So this is all that we're going to have you focus on today, okay? So if when you get done with this, what I would recommend is that you study for your formative that will be on Wednesday. Remember, for the formative, you have certain expectations you have to meet or you're going to have to retake your formative. If I notice you're not meeting one of the expectations, I'm going to send you a message through Dino that'll lock up your screen and tell you. Okay, so after I send the message, then I'll probably wait a few minutes, undo it, and see if you start following the expectations. Okay, so anyway... Um, if not, you're just going to have to retake it. So a reminder in case you weren't in class or you just need a reminder about the expectations Wednesday. Um, one, you have to take the formative exam in class. So if you miss class or you have something wonky going on, then you're going to have to send me a message and schedule a time for us to have you retake the exam. And that'll probably be this Friday. Okay, so um, either Thursday or Friday, I guess. So you'll have to reach out to me and schedule a time. Okay, um, second thing, you have to have your camera on. I've only had three people who had their guardians email me and tell me why they can't use their camera. So, um, you know, you need to do that ahead of time or you will have to take the formative over again or you won't be able to take it. I'll just stop your test if your camera's not on. OK, this is an assessment, so you have to have it on. Um, third thing, you have to follow the directions. If you don't underline when it tells you to do so or highlight rather, then you cannot pass the formative. And if you do not give me four comments that show your brain, um, and your thoughts, then you cannot pass the formative and you'll have to retake it, okay, or take a different one. So please keep that in mind. It's a virtual assessment. You need to follow directions and show your work so that I know you're the person who's doing the assessment. Um, and also, if you just go through and highlight random things and they're not important supporting details, you will not get credit for that. Okay, so that's going to bring down your score. Anyway, um, all right, so let's look at the assignment for today. That's important stuff, so I had to run through it. Okay, so you're going to work on this activity called Plan, Do, Study, Act, and we call it PDSA. All right, and you're eventually going to make a notebook that you're going to keep track of um, the whole year. Okay, so where you can track your own data, how you did on assessments, you can make your own goals and all that good stuff. Okay, but for right now, we're just going to have you complete this worksheet and you can always attach this later into your notebook if you want, or we might have you do that, but we're, we'll just have to see. All right, so of course, name, class period, date. You guys, make sure you know what class period you have with me because you've been putting some wonky things in. Um, anyway, so let's look at the plan, okay? Da, 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 da. All right, so this should be pretty easy for you, and this will actually help you review for the formative on Wednesday. So one, underline the key vocabulary from the standard RI 8.2, okay? So you need um, to read the standard, and here it is. Determine a central idea of a text and analyze its development over the course of the text, including its relationship to supporting ideas. Provide an objective summary of the text. 
So you should be a pro at this by now, okay, doing this standard. So go through and underline what you think is the most important vocabulary words out of here, okay? The next thing you want to do, and this is the practice part I was talking about, you're going to write the standard below in your own words. So in other, wor in other words, um, you're pretty much going to write a summary of the standard in your own words, which is going to be good practice for you in terms of an objective summary. Okay, so read this, underline key vocabulary words, and then write the standard below in your own words. So try to replace the vocabulary words that you chose with your own words that explain what the vocabulary words mean. Okay, all right. So for me, instead of saying, here's an example. Instead of saying determine, I might say, look and find, okay? Look for and find to replace determine. I'm putting this in my own words, okay? Second thing, do. So this is a highlighting activity. I want you to read through these different activities, okay? And I want you to highlight the three activities that best helped you understand how to identify the central idea. Do not say, oh, well, none of these help me and not highlight any of them. You must pick at least um, three, or not at least, I want you to pick exactly three activities that best helped you understand how to identify the central idea. Okay, so three of these must have helped you more so than any of the other stuff we did. So if you can think of another one that's not listed here that you know really helped you out, you can delete one of these that didn't help you at all, type in your own activity, and then highlight that, okay? But if you type in something like, I ate bananas to make me think better, that doesn't count, okay? We're talking about the activities in class that you did, the assignments. And I'm allergic to bananas, by the way. All right, so study. So you're going to rate yourself on a scale from one to five. And you're going to rate, rate your ability to show mastery of each I can statement. So one will be like, there is no way I can answer this. I have no idea what the answer is. And five being... I would get every question right. Anytime I'm asked it, I can answer this question. Okay, so rate yourself. This is a pretest self-reflection. So if you can't at all identify supporting details in an informational text to determine a central idea, if this is like the hardest thing you've ever done in your life, you're going to pick a one. If you feel really good about this and you think you're going to get the answers correct in the formative on Wednesday, then you're going to put a number five, okay? If you're not worried at all and you know you're going to do it right. So, and the other numbers in between will probably be a lot of you who fall in that from like two, three, and four, okay? All right, hopefully that makes sense. There's four of these I can statements. So, read through them and figure out if you really can do this stuff, okay? And then we're going to have you act. Think about acting. We're going to have you project and think about what specific skills you know and what skills you need to review. And then you're going to answer the following questions. Now, please note, project is spelled the same way as project, but notice the different inflection in my voice. It's not project like a group project. It's project. Okay, so you're going to push forward your thinking. You're going to anticipate, okay? So what is your goals for this test or goal for this test? And you can put more than one goal if you want. I suppose we could go ahead and put an S in there for goals, optional, okay, to have multiple goals. How will you achieve this goal? And I'm going to put, again, the S in there in case you want to talk about more than one. Overall, how do you feel about this standard? 
So about the standard RI 8.2, what you've been working on. Okay, so you can write it one to five and then you can give me some sentences. Okay, so um, last but not least, oh, I lied. This is the second slide. So of course it's not last and it's not least. All right, so I can project and reflect on my learning of standard RI 8.2. So what you're going to do this time is you are going to define project and then you're going to define reflect. And I want you to think about this in context of what we're talking about. So look up the actual definitions. Okay. And remember, you're going to see different definitions, especially for this word for project. Don't go with the definition that means a project, like a group activity or something like that, or an activity you do. Okay, this is project again. So anyway, look up these definitions and then in your own words, define what they mean for you. So let's add that. Define the terms below in your own words. Okay, in, re in relation to the I can statement and we'll put that too in relation to the well to the I can statement all right so that way you get a better grip on what I'm asking here okay checking my work all right last but not least finally here you have the exit slip when it comes to understanding the central idea, what skills are your strengths? You're going to answer that question. Think about your skills and how awesome you are. Okay. What do you do well? Uh, what skills do you know? An example could be close reading skills. If you can pick out the who's really, really well, right? Think about the who, what, when, where, and why, and all that good stuff. Then answer what skills are your weaknesses. So what do you need to work on? What's your area of growth? Okay, what, what do you struggle on? And a lot of you were really honest with your bell work yesterday and gave some really good insights to your skills and your skill levels and what you get stuck on in thinking about why you get stuck on something. And the first step to really improving your skills is to identify what skills you need to improve and then to go from there. Okay, so that's it. So remember, remember Wednesday is your formative and you're going to do great. So as long as you try your best. All right. And if you don't do well for some reason, then we'll get some reteaching to you and we'll have you try, try again. Okay, because that's all we can do. So good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. And remember, again, today I'm going to be in, in school with kids, actually in person, like until after four o'clock. So if you message me, I don't know if I can, I'll be able to get back to you um, before the end of the day because I cannot check my emails while I'm teaching. Okay. All right. Well, peace out. Good luck. And I'll see you later.